Tēnā tātou katoa, koutou mai nei, hei tēnā rā, kia ora whānau. Um, welcome to the Headmasters Assembly Messaging for Tuesday the 19th of October. Certainly a strange place to be right now. I'm standing in the Reynolds Room and behind me is a graphical representation of our past and a wonderful and cherished past that that is indeed. Essentially, I am in this space today as our campus here in Hamilton City is continually in a space of being an alert level three environment. And as such, frankly, it feels like a ghost town and we wish you, our student population, could be here at this time. As I stand by myself uh, in the Reynolds room and look around, uh, there are certainly many memories of our past, memories where people within our wider community have made significant sacrifices. And at this time, I can appreciate for you as students that it will feel like the sacrifices you are making are never ending. Uh, the fact that we continue to be providing education via distance learning at this stage uh, obviously is frustrating for all concerned. Uh, but we continue to take uh, the lead and the advice of the government at this time and we'll play our small part uh, in the hope that before long we can all return and be re reunited here on campus. Uh, certainly the start of the term being uh, uh, commencing yesterday via distance learning was far from ideal as opposed to what we had all been hoping for. However, my sincere thanks uh, to you as students for the way in which you jumped straight back into online lessons and to our wonderful staff for the expertise and the energy they showed uh, by meeting with you since 8.30am yesterday morning. As I have communicated to your parents last night, and as you will be acutely aware, uh, we remain in alert level three setting here in the Waikato, uh, at least until the end of this Friday. And as such, uh, the rest of this week, week one of term four, is uh, being uh, run under in a distance learning approach. As such, just a few simple reminders from me to each of you at this time. A reminder, please, we need you in every lesson every day. I do need you to make sure that you have fulfilled your obligations of making sure you've completed all relevant work uh, requested of you by staff before heading into those online lessons. Please make sure that you are dressed appropriately, that you have an environment within your family home that is conducive for good learning. So that is, we're sitting upright, we're at a table, uh, we've removed distractions from near uh, vicinity so that you can focus on the task of learning. Uh, that will continue on a daily basis, as I've already noted, until the end of this week. Uh, we hope that Friday's government announcement does bring us good news as we go into a long weekend. Fingers crossed then that we can start back on campus from the beginning of next week. Obviously, Tuesday onwards, bearing in mind that Monday is a public holiday. However, there'll be more information available to us later in the week, and we'll communicate with your parents appropriately at that time. In my communications to your parents last night, I did recognise that this week we will have five days of distance learning. Thanks in advance. I know that that uh, is going to be uh, quite a undertaking and I just uh, wish to really uh, implore you, encourage each of you as students to make sure that you are entering with the right positive mindset and let's just get on with the job at this time. Wonderful to note that our Tihoi students are enjoying their experience and long may that continue. And a special thanks and acknowledgement at this time to our Cambridge students uh, who have been coming on, on site under Alert Level 3 protocols, incredibly strict uh, protocols they are and understandably so. But my thanks to those particular students for the way in which uh, they have entered in a really mature and compliant manner and have allowed us to administer those really important assessments. As we look forward uh, to the rest of this week, uh, obviously you've got this messaging now. It'll be followed by an eight o'clock chapel service tomorrow morning. That'll be live streamed. We're asking all students to make sure they tune into that via the school's landing page. The Rev will then be back again with Soul Food at 1.30 on Thursday afternoon. Strongly encourage you to make sure that you are there to receive that important messaging. 
Equally on Thursday afternoon, uh, Mr. Heaton will be providing a wonderful resource in reference to wellbeing that will be available on our school's landing page on Thursday afternoon. Please make sure you click in and receive some of that absolute gold in terms of looking after yourself and continuing to make the most during these uncertain times. Uh, finally, to put in your diaries, 1.30 on Friday, there'll be a Headmasters Assembly. That'll be live streamed. It'll be a really nice way to finish the week as I recognise some outstanding achievements uh, from a whole bunch of our young people. Before we get to that point in time, there's a whole heap of distance learning to be done. So please take care of yourself. Please continue to check in online. Importantly, if there's any ways in which our team can assist you, please reach out to your subject masters, to the house masters, and let them know ways in which uh, you need further clarity or additional support at this time. Uh, we would absolutely uh, enjoy helping you uh, during this period of great change. Again, as always, thanks for your support. Thanks for your cooperation. Thanks for your maturity. We we'll look forward to getting this week of teaching and learning done in the hope that Friday brings better news for us all. Take care. Kia kaha.